Hello viewers, welcome to new video. Terry Bradshaw's Merkel cell carcinoma. After beating bladder cancer, the Hall of Fame quarterback was diagnosed with a rare skin tumor. With football back in action this fall, watchers of Fox NFL Sunday noticed that commentator and Hall of Fame quarterback Terry Bradshaw looked different. He appeared to have gained weight and seemed unsteady on his feet. Fans flooded social media with concerns about Bradshaw. This past week, Bradshaw decided to address those concerns. In November, Bradshaw was diagnosed with bladder cancer. He was was treated at Yale University Medical Center in New Haven, Connecticut and was considered cancer-free. Fast forward when Bradshaw said he was feeling pretty good but then began to have trouble with his neck. Although he originally attributed this to many years in the NFL, he later decided to have it checked out. An MRI detected a mass in the left side of his neck and biopsy determined that it was a rare skin tumor called Merkel cell carcinoma. He was treated at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston where he underwent surgery for followed by radiation therapy. In a Facebook Live chat opens in a new tab or window, Bradshaw explained that the swelling in his face is due to the radiation which maintains fluid in my face and jaw, and this side of my face is partially numbed. It's coming, it's slow, it's gonna take a while. Fox, I may not look like my old self, but I feel like my old self, he added. I'm cancer-free, I'm feeling great, and over time I'm going to be back to where I normally am. Bradshaw told news correspondent Harry Smith in a Today segment that this experience has changed his outlook opens in a new tab or window on life. We are going to go to Europe, going to go to Paris, going to go to wherever we want to go. I am going to get all this in because I feel like I don't want to put this off anymore. I may have 25-30 years left but I am going to act like I got one. MCC was first described in 1972 by Cyril Toker MD. It has subsequently been known by a variety of names including trabecular carcinoma of the skin, Toker tumor, primary small cell carcinoma of the skin, primary cutaneous neuroendocrine tumor and malignant trichodiscoma. It is rare and aggressive neuroendocrine carcinoma arising in the dermoepidermal junction. Although the exact origin and function of the Merkel cell remains under investigation, Merkel cells are normally found in the skin and in part of the mucosal surfaces derived from the ectoderm. Registry data have shown an excess risk of MCC as the first or second cancer in patients with several primary cancers. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.